Hey guys, Jolly here, and this is my review on the Bulldog Face Hammer Elite Weapon in Advanced Warfare. This is going to be something I do quite often on my channel now. I'm gonna every Elite Weapon I get, I'm gonna do a review on it, uh, with some gameplay of it in the background and what perks it's best with and things like that. So the Bulldog Face Hammer is a very good weapon. It has a bonus to damage, which gives it 20 damage. Um, and it has 2-2 two, two accuracy, which is really good, it makes the hip, the hip fire spread a lot smaller and a lot more easy to use in these close quarters areas that the Bulldog should be used in. So this weapon has a minus to handling, which I don't really know what it does, I haven't noticed it at all. Um, and you can't use things like red dot sights and other optical attachments on the weapon, which isn't really a bad thing because your best offs would not using things like that and using like the laser sight and things to make the hip fire smaller. Uh, extended mags is a very good attachment for this weapon. You need the only bad thing about getting extended mags is you need to get 25 double kills, which can be quite difficult. It can take quite a bit of time. The perks I ran on this were lightweight to get across the map and get to the enemies a bit quicker. Um, and I used the fast hands so I could reload while running because you do do a lot of reloading on this. And I used toughness because you're going to be in front of the enemy quite often trying to blast them down and you're going to be getting shot. So this weapon is also really good in games like hard, game modes like Hardpoint. Uh, where you're right up close to the enemy and you're all trying to surround one area. Same with Capture the Flag, um, any game mode like that, that you can get really close to the enemy. I'm playing on TDM most of the time on this just because it's quick and easy game modes and I get the best connection on them. But I did have a test out on Hardpoint and things like that and I found it really, really, really good and definitely a good, solid elite weapon, better than a few of the elite weapons I've seen from other YouTubers and things like that. The perks and things I would definitely avoid while using this are the stock. The stock brings the accuracy down quite a bit, uh, which isn't really worth it because you don't really want to be running around with your sights up anyway. And I definitely wouldn't use Gung Ho because when you use Gung Ho and you're running your hit fire spread, is literally the size of the screen and it's definitely not worth using at all. Gungho is a perk that I really avoid because it makes your weapons do weird things and it just shouldn't be used, it just shouldn't be in the game at all. I also recommend running a secondary of some kind on this because you do reload a lot and if you want to whap out like your atlas just to blast one enemy down then that's definitely something worth doing. So if you enjoyed this video please like, favourite and subscribe, on your screen you will be seeing two videos that you should definitely check out, peace.